Hello guys, I'm going to come to you live with a quick DIY one for our video. And in today's video, I'm going to actually replace the motherboard in my older Samsung Galaxy S3. The motherboard is effective, but the LCD works fine. So I, I went on eBay and I purchased a broken Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, the LCD is pretty much shattered but the seller promised me that the motherboard is good so I'm going to actually remove the motherboard from this um, Samsung Galaxy S3 and install it into my Samsung Galaxy S3 so we'll watch the process and we'll see how that goes and hopefully I have a good motherboard in here so let's get to it guys Now it's time for the big test. The board has been replaced. I'm going to stick the battery in and see if it does power on. This is a battery that came with the one I got off eBay with the broken LCD. So let's see if it works in this one. Let's see if this thing works. Nothing so far. This battery could be dead. I'm going to assume right now that the battery is dead. Let me get a different battery. There we go. I just tried a different battery. And let's see if this phone boots. Because this is going to be the real test. It looks like it's doing something, guys. And this is the, re the new replacement motherboard that I just installed in the Samsung Galaxy S3. So it's doing something. So let's see if it finishes the boot process or if it's going to be stuck in a boot loop. That's promising. That's very promising indeed. <laughs> that is promising. Aha! Uh -huh. So here comes the AT&T logo. So, so far it looks like this repair has been successful. It's looking good so far. I'm excited about this. I tell you what guys, this is the power of DIY one for all. I do it for one and hopefully for all. So let's see what happens. Let's see if it actually finishes the boot process, which is what I'm really excited about. If you notice guys, the, it didn't take long to replace the motherboard inside of the Samsung Galaxy S3. I've done that board two times before, so, but, but maybe for you the first time, it may take a little bit longer, but just take your time. No need to hurry. So this is very promising. Just want to watch this process and see if it goes onto the desktop or if I can see the phone um, home screen. That is what I'm really interested in right now. All right, this is working. This is working. Now it's asking me to set the phone up and it's asking me to choose my language. Of course, my language is English. So I click continue. And it's asking me to insert a SIM card. I'm just going to skip for right now. As you can see right there, there's no SIM card inserted. So let's skip. Now it wants to, to connect to a Wi-Fi network. And the beautiful thing about it is that it's actually seen some Wi-Fi networks. So I'm going to connect to one of my Wi-Fi networks here. I've got 
about three different Wi-Fi networks in my house. So let me pick that one. And I'll enter my super secret password off screen. All right, I'm gonna click connect now. Obtaining an IP address and it's connected to my Wi-Fi network. <laughs> this is wonderful. This is wonderful. So it says just a sec. Of course, Google. Do you have a Google account? Yes, I do. So I'm going to say yes. So it's asking me to sign in. So let me do that right now. All right. Uh, enter my password. That portion I'll do off screen. Then I'll pick done. It says, by signing in, you are agreeing to Google Terms. Of course, I agree, Google. It says, signing in. All right. It says, asking me if I want to back up and restore, back up and restore to a Google account. Um, You know what? I'm just going to say, for right now, I'm not going to back up anything. Okay. Set up a credit card. Uh, I don't have one right now. Not now. Says DIY one for all, of course. That's me. Click next. Done. And there we go. That is the desktop. The current time is 12:46 p.m. Saturday, April the 15th, indeed. And the temperature is 77 degrees Fahrenheit in my town. So th this is wonderful. So the repair has been successful. I've been meaning to repair this phone for a while. I was just searching on eBay to find a good deal on a broken phone and I found one broken LCD good motherboard and I was able to repair my phone by replacing the motherboard okay guys hope you have found this video helpful and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course comment and subscribe and I will catch you on the next video as we DIY for one and we do it for all